Fans got their first peek at Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn in costume, thanks to new images from the set of Joker, fully a tilde do. The Joker sequel began filming sans Lady Gaga in early December. Fortunately, she returned to the set two months later, with set images of her leaking ever since. In fully a tilde do, director Todd Phillips offered fans their first official look at the Joker's sidekick. Unfortunately, fans have only seen Harley in civilian attire. According to fresh set photographs, the next filming site for Joker, Fully A Tilda Do will be at a courthouse that is now in the news owing to Donald Trump's indictment. Back to the first edition of Joker is a 2019 American psychological thriller film directed by Todd Phillips, who also co-wrote the screenplay with Scott Silver. The film, based on DC Comics characters, stars Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker and serves as a standalone origin story for the character. Set in 1981, a clown and aspiring stand-up comedian Arthur Fleck lives with his mother, Penny, in crime-ridden Gotham City. Arthur suffers from a neurological disorder that causes him to have random, uncontrollable laughing fits, requiring medication for which he depends on social services. After Arthur is attacked by juvenile delinquents, his co-worker Randall gives him a revolver for self-defense. Arthur pursues a relationship with his neighbor, single mother Sophie, and invites her to see his routine at a comedy club. Arthur is fired from his job at a children's hospital when he accidentally exposes the gun despite his explanation that it was given to him by Randall, who denies this. After Arthur is attacked by juvenile delinquents, his co-worker Randall gives him a revolver for self-defense. Arthur pursues a relationship with his neighbor, single mother Sophie, and invites her to see his routine at a comedy club. Sophie attends Arthur's stand-up routine, which goes poorly, he laughs uncontrollably, and his jokes fall flat. Arthur intercepts a letter from Penny to Thomas, alleging that he is Thomas' illegitimate son, and berates his mother for hiding the truth. He goes to Wayne Manor, where he meets Thomas's young son Bruce, but flees after a scuffle with family butler Alfred Pennyworth. Penny suffers a stroke and is hospitalized. Arthur's idol, popular late-night talk show host Murray Franklin, presents clips of Arthur's failed performance on a show and mocks him. Arthur confronts Thomas at a film theater. Thomas tells him that he is not his father, and Penny is not his biological mother. In denial, Arthur visits Arkham State Hospital and steals Penny's file, which states she was a narcissist who adopted Arthur while working as a housekeeper for the Waynes in the 1950s. Penny then raised Arthur with her abusive boyfriend, who later died in jail. Penny was sent to Arkham for allowing the abuse. Distraught, Arthur enters Sophie's apartment unannounced. Frightened, Sophie asks him to leave, revealing their relationship to be a figment of Arthur's imagination. The following day, Arthur smothers Penny to death at the hospital. While riding home on the subway still wearing his clown makeup, Arthur is mocked and beaten by drunk businessmen from Wayne Investments. He fatally shoots two of them in self-defense and murders the third as he attempts to flee. The killings are condemned by their employer, billionaire mayoral candidate Thomas Wayne. After his stand-up clips go viral, Arthur is invited to appear on Murray's show. He subsequently plans to commit suicide during the broadcast. While crafting a clown-inspired persona, he is visited by Randall and another ex-colleague, Gary. Arthur kills Randall, but spares Gary for his kindness to Arthur in the past. Two detectives investigating Arthur's involvement in the murders of the businessmen pursue him onto a subway filled with clown protesters. One detective accidentally shoots and kills a protester, thus inciting a riot, while Arthur escapes. Before the show goes live, Arthur asks Murray to introduce him as Joker. Arthur begins telling morbid jokes, confesses to the subway murders, rants about how society abandons the downtrodden and mentally ill, and berates Murray for ridiculing him. After one more morbid joke, Arthur fatally shoots him on air. He is arrested, and riots erupt across Gotham. One of the rioters corners the Wayne family in an alley and murders Thomas and his wife, sparing Bruce. Rioters in an ambulance crash into the police car carrying Arthur, freeing him, he stands atop the car, starts to dance to the cheers of the crowd, and smears blood on his face into the shape of a smile. At Arkham, Arthur laughs to himself about a joke whilst with a therapist, but declines to tell it, claiming she wouldn't get it.